look is definitely geared towards making a woman look beautiful. It's, you know, soft, beautiful peach tones on the cheeks, nice kind of creamy, hydrated, peachy lip. The eye is kind of like a nude eye with a little gold shimmer and then a lot of lashes. So I just finished applying a coat of our new Primer Light, Photo Finish Light. Sam's a little more on the oily and sensitive side, so I wanted to give her something that was oil-free. Um, gives her a nice matte radiant glow. And now we're applying our high definition foundation again, lightly through the T-zone, building on her here. So what I did here again, we're taking the concealer in a shade lighter than her natural skin tone, and we're moving it kind of like almost in a triangle. So it's like under the lash line here, and then move out. So it's gonna be like this triangle shape right here. So you create kind of like a halo of lightness underneath the eye. Number 22 fan brush, Function 5 powder, amazing, oil free. So again, lip and lid primer is meant to keep your shadow on, create a base, even out the skin tone. And you'll see this what an incredible product this is because you can see the difference between one eye and the next. So look at the difference between that and that. I mean, wow. incredible. We're gonna use our number 10 brush and we're gonna do a nice soft diffuse crease. We're just gonna go right through the crease, um, kind of with a flesh tone, and give her a nice soft diffuse crease. When you do the crease and you kind of want it to diffuse, you want it to diffuse up on the brow bone. A lot of women do this, they take a brush and they go back and forth like this and that's all they do. You want to deposit the color like that, move it back and forth, and then start doing a buffing motion circular motions to kind of buff up onto the crease so the, the color kind of peaks over so when her eyes open you see that kind of kind of halo of warm color around her eye we're gonna go in with one of our most popular shadows called champagne and what I'm gonna do is is I'm gonna press the shimmer right on her lid we're doing a nice shimmery kind of sheen on the lid okay so this is a liquid overlay we're gonna give her a little shimmer right in the corner here give her like a high shine. It's a liquid product, so we're just gonna pat it in. So we're gonna get that little like, go ahead and open, like that pretty highlight. It opens up the eye, so it takes away any kind of, you know, detracts from darkness in the corner. It just really kind of opens, especially if someone's a little more close set, and you do a lighter, like light in here and a little darker in the outer corner, it kind of moves the eyes out this way. Okay, so number 15 brush. We're gonna go in with a deeper shade brown just to give her a little more definition in her crease. So the color that we're using is called Etch. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take Jet Set Waterproof Liner and I'm gonna line underneath her lash line. Uh, you just, yeah, I'm sure you've seen a lot of that at all the shows. Uh, what it does again is it creates kind of some depth underneath the lash and so it makes it look like you have a lot of lashes. We're gonna actually kind of do a reverse liner in the inner rim. We're gonna do a white eyeliner. Um, we used to have it smashed box. We're just gonna line in here. What that does too, as well, is it opens up the eye. We're gonna do mascara and we're using our focal point. Uh, and this look calls for a really kind of like almost clumpy, dramatic lash. A lot, a lot of mascara. Almost like too much mascara. So the lashes are almost spiky. Go ahead, open. Really coating up the lash. Getting all the way through. Now, a great trick is too, you can come in this way with that excess look straight forward, Sam, and just really coat up the lash. Do you see how it's almost creating like five lashes? That's kind of that's kind of the look we're going for in this collection. This cheek, it's borderlining on orangey. A really peachy, 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 bronzy orange. It's just, I'm such a fan of peach. I think it makes all women look beautiful. And what we're doing is we're taking a foundation brush with one of our skin tints, and we're gonna hit her a little higher up on the cheekbone here. This look again calls for a kind of a higher color, closer to the eye, um, and not so aptly. So we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna really pop the cheek up with some, we're gonna put a, like I said before, at Smashbox, we always do two cheek products to get the most natural effect. Um, putting just a blush on, I, to be honest, as an artist, I never think looks totally natural. 
I always think it looks a lot better if you use a blush and a bronzer or a blush and a soft light or something just to soften the color of it. We're going to take Aperture Blush with our blush brush and we're going to give her that high contour. When you do blush, she could probably attest to this, I'm barely touching her skin. I mean, you can barely feel my touch and that's the way you should apply your blush. You shouldn't really feel it, the pressure of your hand on your skin. Do you see that gorgeous sheen she has going with her skin? It's gorgeous. Another one of my favorite tricks just to kind of pull the whole look together is to take a bronzer and just soften the entire look so it just looks like her, she doesn't have too much of a pop of color, it just kind of melts together. So I'm going to start at the base of the forehead and again lightly touching her skin. You want to use something that has kind of a peachy undertone to it. Um, and if you're a little more on the you know darker side, you've got to use something that's really golden in color. Um, so it doesn't go kind of gray or ashy on you. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take one of our soft lights with our number 22 fan brush and just give her a really strong highlight along her cheekbone. Again, just hitting right here. This lip color is actually one of my favorite. It's actually a combination. It's two lip colors together. These are Smashbox lipsticks that we crushed into a, a pan here. It's elegant and magnificent to give her kind of like that coral, almost borderline orangey lip. The lip is very, very warm. There's not a, a lot of detail with it, so it's meant to look like you just applied it with your finger, which is basically what I'm doing. This is Afterglow, one of my favorite glosses. Just a touch of shine. This is actually one of our number one sellers. It's a bright coral, and I think it frightens people at first, um, but it's just such a gorgeous color. It's like anybody can wear it. It's like that sheer coral. That's basically the look. 